Alt 92.3's Not So Silent Night. Uh, but let's kick off with the new record, Worst Nights. Worst Nights. That's our, that's our new record. Um, kind of a perfect song for New Year's Eve, actually. You well, know, you say all my song. worst nights are the best times. What does that mean? Take me inside. Well, that. Uh, you, I think you probably know what it means. You know, I, I mean, you're, are you a New Yorker? Do you live here? I do. Remember Cabin Down Below? No, was that like a cool spot? I was probably not cool enough for it. It was a good spot. It all was right. a good spot. It's not around anymore, but that was where a lot of worst nights, really fun, bad nights happened. You know, it's like sometimes your most memorable nights are the ones that you regret, but they're also the ones that, you know, make a real impact in your life. Give me one night. Give me uh, a New York night, because I know, I think you, what do you name drop LA in the song, I think, lyrically? Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, this whole song, I mean, that song is like so super West Coast. I mean, it was kind of influenced by like Parliament Funkadelic and kind of like even, even the early hip hop Dr. Dre stuff, you know, um, with the synth sounds and just kind of that mood. And so, um, you know, that song's kind of like, I guess a little bit of a tribute to LA bad nights, but New York is definitely taken me down more than once too. That's why I've never lived here. I feel like every time I would come here, like I, I, I could only stay for, if I stayed for more than a week, I'd be dead. Cause after a week, I just don't sleep. I don't sleep. I just don't ever, I, I, I go out until 5 a.m. and then I wake up early the next morning and I go to a bunch of different things and the thing about New York is that it takes like you can I mean LA you've got traffic but here you're just fighting through crushes of people and so you can like it can take you all day to do like two things um, if you're not from here and don't know how to get around yeah uh, well, let's go around the table right now. If we're talking New York spots, I'm probably not going to know any of these because they sound like very cool Uber spots. Uh, but if you're going to have one of these worst nights you think about, where are you going to go? I usually go to the Bubba Gump Shrimp in Times Square. <laughs> is, that, mm. is that really? Yeah, you can have is a lot of really worst nights where you go? there. Yeah. Wow. I try to, I've lived here and I try to avoid Times Square like the plague. Where do you like to go? That's not fair, man. That's my spot and you knew that was my <sighs> spot. Kind of I thought your spot was the Fridays in Times Square. Uh, it, it's between like, you know... Hooters or the th- or Bubba yeah. Gump or the M and M store. I hear you guys like the frequent there. The M and M store. The M and M store. I yeah. I I don't. I don't frequent there anymore. Some, you know. He got eighty six. It was I really did, hot a couple actually. years ago, and then yeah, it's not it allowed in Chili's anymore, anymore either. Anymore. Too, I know. Too many bottomless margaritas. It was rough, man. But um, I really don't. I'm I'm not that cool, so I never go out. Anyhow, I usually just stay put. Yeah. Yeah. After a show, even if you're in New York City, you'll just kind of like chill back and like. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right cool. It's usually like a shame thing. These guys throw me in the van, boot me in there. Yeah. <laughs> lock the door the behind them. Lock the door. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, can we talk about this new uh, Moo song? Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. How did you? How did you approach? Do you have any anxiety like ta- uh, pronouncing her name? Because I don't I like interviewing know. her for that reason. Yeah. No, I didn't know. I actually didn't know until I was I was talking to a couple Swedish friends. I was like, Yeah, I just did a song with this artist. I don't know. It's spelled like Mo, but it's got one of those lines through it. And they're like, Oh, it's uh, it's Mu. They're like, She's yeah, she's from uh, she's Danish. She's from Denmark, and so is Mu. But um, no, she's cool. You know, she's uh. Yeah, the song kind of just came about, and I mean, she she has her own version of it, and I just I kind of sang a verse on it, and uh, you know, brought some vibes. And it was funny actually because when I first heard the song, I was like, oh, these are, this is a Pixie song. Like I'm like, this is like where's my mind? And and I was literally and and you know I was golfing with Joey from the Pixies like the next day, and so I was like I was out golfing with him. I'm like, hey man, I'm like I just want to pick your brain. I'm like. I, you know, I got sent this song and they want me to do something on it. And I just want to like kind of clear it with, I'm like, how do you feel? I, f- I felt kind of weird about it. I didn't want to like, I, I, I don't know what, how that works with y'all. But like, and he's like, he's like, I'm like, it's like full on a Pixies song. I was like, are you like getting like publishing on this? What's going on with this? <laughs> and he's like, nah, he's like, I don't, he's like, I don't know. He's like, just do it, dude. He's like, do it. He's like, I don't care. He's like, people have been ripping us off for 30 years. <laughs> It's not wrong. I mean, it's a sample, right? Or is it just? A I don't know. Nod? Actually, I don't know. I don't know. It's got to. I think it's a sample. I mean, it's so. Yeah. It's very. It's so so close. It's got to be a sample. Um, I talked to you about this when you were doing the pop up with us with the Knox song, but I wanted to get your guys' opinion. There's a great Rolling Stone piece if you're listening to this right now to go back and read about you guys. Awesome feature about just this resurgence you've had. I don't know if you'd call it a resurgence or not, but you guys were very transparent, especially you, Mark, about just like uh, you know maybe having a worry at a time of like you know what's next for us. You just you made it so big on the first record. What have the past couple of years been like for you guys as a group a blur i feel i feel like we've been 
around the world. No, we're not like, talking about that song anymore. I was going to say. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I've just been listening to the Pixies and, you know, lawyering up to not yeah. get sued. And, yeah. you know, we just, you know, we've been tied Bad up joke, in litigation. <laughs> Yeah. It has been a Put whirlwind. A I mean, we, we did go to China, I mean, uh, for the first time this year, which was fascinating, I think, to all of us. Um, there's a lot of places that, you know, you you want to go, and it's nice to have this ability to go do those things and, and play music and, and be in kind of a, a cultural atmosphere in that way. Yeah. So, but it is a blur. I mean, you know, this guy's really mm-hmm. amazing at remembering all of our blur, like the all of the... Uh, the venues and the, the crazy it's places. because I go there. back to the hotel after. I was going to say, drink. but not yeah, New York City I, nice spots. Yeah. <laughs> Stop <laughs> partying. You'll remember. Well, cool, guys. Uh, well, you guys are, I don't know when you're hitting the stage, but we're very excited to have you here, and we really appreciate it. No, we're not it. playing tonight, actually. We're just doing this radio show with you. That's what I was Oh, told. that's yeah. what it was. That's what we've been promoting it. for We're going to commentate. We're going to do like a mystery science theater when the other bands are playing. <laughs> Oh you guys God. will be like the old, we're gonna the just old troll. Hey, We're just going to troll everybody. I would love, love that. To do that. A director's cut of the concert, but just like with your commentary track. That'd be great. Oh, my gosh. Like golf commentary when they're playing. Like, oh, is that a... He's, it looks like he's playing an op Selena right now. I <laughs> mm, uh, like that tone when they use the violin mixed with the cello. That sounds good. <laughs> Intercom, if you're listening, I'm in. All right. Foss of the people, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.